Hello, welcome to my live performance of the Music Mastery Experience project. I see that two people are watching, so I will just give it a little bit more time. Maybe someone else wants to join. Oh, okay. First uh, comment. Thank you for being here. I'm really excited to do this and um, I think I'll give a short introduction to what the purpose of this, um, um, this live stream is and uh, then I'm going to play. So, this is the end of the three-month Music Mastery program, the Summer 2020 edition that was created by René Paul Gauthier. In June, René prompted us to choose an experience project, something that was exciting to us to work on over the course of the program. What came up for me in that session was Paganini Caprice 21 an unlikely choice for me. The piece has always, has always spoken to me and um, anything seemed to be possible in that moment. So I took a leap of faith and decided on it. In the last week of the program, we are encouraged to perform our experience pieces live. So what is a caprice? It is a capricious, freely invented piece that does not follow any rules. In the Baroque area, what became later a cadenza in a concerto was often called a caprice. In later times, etudes were sometimes called caprices, etudes that focus on particular techniques and illuminate them from every angle. Paganini combined these two meanings and wrote 24 caprices that each elaborate a limited number of violin techniques in a musically appealing setting. That is why he dedicated the caprices to the artists and not to the students of the violin. Paganini, as many of his successors, was excited by virtuosity as a means of expression. And that is what made me reluctant to choose one of his caprices as an experience project. At first, I was doubtful if I could play any of it as written. Now, after applying Renee's signature deep practice model and other teachings, I can, in fact, play all the notes and a good part of them in a way that gives me joy. In the program, we were encouraged to give ourselves permission to create. In this spirit, I created an excerpt of Caprice 21 that hopefully captured, captures is, its essence and that is, accessible, <laughs> that is accessible to me as a violinist. This is what I will play for you today. Yesterday, I learned that today is Maud Powell's birthday. She was born on this day, August 22nd in 1868, 152 years ago. Maud Powell, the great American violinist, is my violin hero, hero for a number of reasons. The most important one is her pioneering entrepreneurial spirit. She created a life for herself as a violin virtuosa and consummate music musician when there were few role models for her as an American or as a woman. I'm inspired by Maud's courage and creativity. And 
I humbly dedicate my creation today to Mod Power. So <laughs> I still have something more to say and to play. Um, the year 2020 is a special year for many reasons. And apart from the obvious one, Paganini published his Caprices in 1820, exactly 200 years ago. Maud Powell died in 1920, exactly 100 years ago. And Another musician, the blind harpist and so-called last bard, Polo O'Callan, was born in 1670, exactly 350 years ago. I'm not even mentioning Beethoven. <laughs> he, O'Callan, wrote, uh, wrote countless songs in a politically divisive climate in Ireland. And I'm finishing with one of his most uplifting tunes, the uh, Callan's Concerto. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm very grateful for all of you coming to listen. I see that there are many comments. I can't, um, and I don't want to respond to them now live. I will take time to read what you had to say and respond. And there's Okay, as always, I'm getting emotional, but I'm going to say this <laughs> anyway, so. My music healers all. Okay, bye for now, talk to you soon.